Hello, this is Scott Buceno from telecoms.com here at Mobile World Congress 2022 and I'm talking to Jens Voigt from Conviva. So Jens, what, what have been the main themes of the show for you? Well, we see Conviva is in the uh, business support systems uh, domain and we see besides the product capabilities, we a lot of, see a lot of discussion about agility, flexibility and scalability because there are so many things going on currently in the BSS space. Uh, from new business models, new partner ecosystems evolving, uh, the evolution of legacy IT systems, so that these topics really become a crucial part of anything that uh, moves forward. And that's sort of where we, with our Blue Marble product, actually moving in uh, with a very flexible, a modularized solution that uh, we can sort of adjust to whatever the customer is is looking for, but we have sort of pre-packaged solutions uh, that they can sort of pick up to address uh, their specific needs, whether it's in 5G service enabling, 5G slicing monetizations, uh, marketplace creation with partner ecosystem and onboarding. Uh, so we have a lot of these solutions based on the same core uh, product capabilities and built into, into our solution. So what I hear, I hear talk of sort of agility quite yeah. a lot in in the sort of BSS um, or the telecom software world. Perhaps you could elaborate a little bit more on on why agility is spoken about so much, why it's so important, what it what it brings to the table. Uh, let's let's take the the example of, of 5G slice monetization. We're doing some uh, proof of concept uh, early engagements with clients, uh, where the challenge is, and we've seen this for a lot of these. G evolutions, everybody's looking like what is the, the application, the monetization model, uh, but most people really don't really know yet. So what they really need is, is a platform or a solution where they can really very quickly create a product offering, a solution for a specific client, especially in slicing for enterprise segments, so they can just take it to the market, see the reactions, fine tune it and then have a zero, zero touch deployment model uh, that goes into the network deploying this virtualized environment. So that's where agility really comes into evaluate like what's the model that works instead of thinking a lot in upfront uh, and, and trying to design things uh, that might not actually be met by the market demand. No, that, that makes sense. I mean, it's definitely you know, a narrative I've been covering as a journalist for a long time. Thinking back to the last Mobile Congress three years ago, we were wondering what we were going to do with 5G. We're still sort of wondering. We've got a better mm -hmm. idea. But I think to finish off, maybe you could you could sort of explore that a little bit more. We're at 2022 with 5G. We're finding out a little bit more. You know, over the next few years, especially as facilitated by companies like you, what are we going to be doing with 5G? Uh well, what we see is uh, on the one side, probably the operators on the consumer side will pick up uh, some of the new uh, services that come, come with sort of the ability to very specifically assign bandwidth, assign latency. Uh, but I think the, the bigger part, and, and that's why we're also moving with our sort of commerce product catalog solution, uh, is really in addressing sort of the enter enterprise segments or uh, government segments like smart cities, slicing uh, for manufacturing, for virtual reality, augmented reality, and then sort of the next step probably be the thing that I feel a lot, this Mobile World Congress is about the metaverse and right. how that yeah. how that fits in there because that's sort of probably the next step of looking at and that's also where we are looking into taking sort of commerce uh, and, and our ability to sort of monetize services uh, into sort of a new channel that we, that we enable. Yeah, no, that all makes sense. That's certainly consistent with other stuff I've heard. So yeah, good luck with that and thanks a lot. Thank you. Cheers.